Yeah, exactly, exactly. Candles, please. I'm John Castro. Uh, you may know me from such things as the debut. And that's about always it. It starts with that, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie in Long Beach Town yeah. Center. Yeah, I think that's why you pause a little bit after that. Just I was like, starstruck, though. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, didn't, it didn't really happen like that. It, it came out more naturally than that. Yeah, I've had X Slut. Where you been, man? X Slut, you know, uh, started out as a as a truck, right? Yeah, we did, a food, we did a food truck in 2011. We just celebrated our fifth year as a business. We're a small, tiny shack now at Grand Central Market. Uh, we just opened in the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Vegas. Oh, nice, nice. That little place. The name X Slut. Mm -hmm. What did your parents? They hated it. Yeah. They were like, so bucket wise slut. <laughs> well, uh, bucket wise slut. My parents are huge Catholics and they hated my business. They did, we didn't talk to each other for four years. Really? Oh. We just started talking just to each other of the name. last year. Just because oh, of the okay. name? Okay. Well, that and because I was a chef and I didn't mm. pursue Well, you should have said, well, the other really? option was egg whore. <laughs> and so this is the best. It's not as bad. It's not this as bad. This is egg Mary Magdalene. <laughs> right? This is exactly why I get in trouble. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, Okay. So but yeah, my parents didn't like it until mm. you know they could brag about it now. Sure. So like, now they're I'm like their best son. Right. <laughs> oh, my son is a ship. Uh. <laughs> How about egg lend it lend it. <laughs> it no? That just sounds sexy. Right? You also have a lot going on with Filipino food. Um, so I've always been proud to be Filipino. It's just that you know when growing up in the culinary industry, it's like everyone thinks you're Mexican. <laughs> so now that I am able to be in some type of a mainstream media mm -hmm. I use that to promote our culture and mm -hmm. our food and, mm -hmm. and and really spread the awareness of how good our food is mm -hmm. Hell you yeah. know because you know you know obviously everyone's had lumpia mm -hmm. I almost mm -hmm. doubled it so, I turned uh, it around yeah if you flip it it's <laughs> I, I flipped it around <laughs> yeah. So. yeah it's cool yeah we all, we all <laughs> but, family here yeah. yeah but Filipino foods it's growing uh, a lot of our chefs now are you know, like like John, where they've been in the industry for a really long time and are ready to venture off oh, and man. do their own. You make me sound really old right now. <laughs> oh, he's been in the industry for years. And yeah, you know, he's been cooking before Wolfgang. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Amadeus. <Yes>. Oh, <laughs> that's a Mozart that. reference, by the way. <laughs> we're we're making Filipino food an issue. Oh, we, yeah. want the, we want people to try it, not just Filipinos. Uh, but also every other culture out there that's oh, yeah. just into food. No, because I mean, in, you know, you said like everyone knows Lumpia. I mean, that's kind of why our website is Love That Lumpia, you know, because yeah. it's almost like someone who's non Filipino, like when he finds out you're Filipino, oh. It's gateway. Yeah. yeah. It's our gateway. Yeah. yeah. It's a Filipino exactly. Food. Yeah. They're like, so you make love that like every time, yeah, every time you tell someone you're Filipino, that's the first and thing I say. Everyone yeah. that's not Filipino is now a Lumpia con connoisseur. Yes. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, that's not good Lumpia. Right. You're like, like, what do you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. What do you know, sir? <laughs> you know. Do you use Menlo wrapper or which one do you use? We right. Oh, no, yeah. we hand make our own. Yeah. 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 I bet oh, you yeah. that's the next thing. It's like craft made, <laughs> exactly. you know, artisanal yeah. from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah rapper. Is it made by a guy with a beard? With a beard, but he's Pinoy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, right. But the that's that's ironic cool. thing is like we can't really grow facial hair except for you. <laughs> no, I but can't. But you're just pretty sparse. No, no, Hello. My, mine is, you're just pretty mine sparse. is trying really, really hard. <laughs> it's sparse. Mine is trying really, really yeah. hard. It's good though, This man. is called no time to fucking do anything <laughs> and groom yourself. Yeah. Did we mention Amboy? Ambo, yeah. Yeah, Ambo is a uh, Filipino project. Yes. Uh, we're moving on to our first brick and mortar. Uh, we're probably gonna have a food truck in between time. Nice. Uh, look for that. And you have a lot, you know, other like there's other sort of like an incubator here in a way, right? There's like, yeah. you know, tell us about. So this is my baby. Unit 120, yeah. the mm -hmm. space that we're in right now, mm -hmm. is a place for industry professionals, or culinary industry professionals, to mm -hmm. uh, examine whether or not they want to venture out on their own. Do they mm -hmm. want to be a restaurateur? Do they want to be a chef of their own restaurant? Mm -hmm. Do they want to, you know? Is it worth it? Do people yeah, like it? Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Do I want to take my mom and dad's five hundred thousand dollars and open a restaurant? <laughs> right. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. But without doing that, they can mm -hmm. do it here on my dime mm -hmm. and see whether or not it's yeah. worth it. And I, to yeah. me, it's a worth investment. Yeah. It's paying it forward to the industry. For sure. I, I made a lot of mistakes in this in this business, mm -hmm. and if I can prevent people from making the same mistakes that I have, 
that I'm doing a good thing for sustainability of food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in LA. Yeah. Because yeah. I love the city. Yeah, well, for sure, man. Tell us where you're from. Yeah, I grew up in East LA. I uh, hung out in East LA a lot. Um, typical Filipino upbringing. Thought I was a gangster. Oh, man. Sold, <laughs> sold, Didn't we all? Sold, we all sold well, some you know. things that I shouldn't have been selling. Or <laughs> drove cars that I shouldn't have did been you, driving. Did you have a Dickies outfit? Or I sure did. A Carhartt outfit. <laughs> no, it was Dickies. I'm all in these, school. Top to bottom? Frisco Benz and Ben Davis. Either. Ah, nice, nice. Did you crease them? Uh, <laughs> saying, or crease your Levi's? I, 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 had, a, I had an iron mentor. Ooh. Who showed me how to iron my pants. Oh, oh damn. Start, start. Oh, yeah, so that I can stand them up. <laughs> <laughs> they were so so sip, I could stand them up. No, I'm so do like when I show people pictures of myself from like yeah. 15 years ago, they, they trip out. Were you, were you crouching in any of these photos? Oh, crouching? With a cigarette in my yeah. hand right. and on my lips. Right. Like, how the fuck do you do and that? one in your ear too? <laughs> yeah. one in your how ear? Do you do that? Yeah, the pager you know, on the overall. Yeah, you know? my pager with the chain. Yes. Right? AOL chat rooms, yeah. Pinocchio yeah. I 21 and up. Yeah, Shout 5, 6, Pinocchio. 2, Pinoy. Yeah, yeah. Asian yes. Avenue. Cerritos right. Mall. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. I was like, yeah, got a GIF, and they're like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, boop. Oh, oh, it's Cerritos Mall? Cute. Cerritos Mall. There's a <laughs> chat room called Cerritos Mall. Oh, wow. And really? You, a chat yeah, room. you go in there, and it's like, easy NP9, 562, yes. and you meet them, and you're like, yo, meet me at the and, show. Uh, I always... In front of uh, Air Force Pass I'm looking for a scrunchie. <laughs> I need a new scrunchie. I need to get a new pager case. Yes. Clear, preferably light blue. That's why, like, around, you know, 2001, when the debut came out, it was something that By the way, like... I wrote that. Yeah. Did you really, John? I heard. <laughs> I heard. Oh, my God. I, I saw yeah. that. That's the movie with Rufio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a funny story about your experience. Yeah, yes. so uh, yeah. you guys filmed that at Cantwell, Sacred Heart of Mary in Montebello. And uh, I was in a car club at Don Bosco Tech. Don Bosco. And uh, we heard that you guys were filming a car scene, and we all wanted to flex our cars on that movie. So we drove as fast as we could. As soon as like that rumor hit, we drove, and you guys closed the gate. <laughs> and we were watching you guys film shitty cars. <laughs> oh, oh. And then you, didn't make, you didn't go to the tryouts. We were <laughs> like, all pre-chosen. I, 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 like, I was a 16 year old kid. We had auditions. I don't care about auditions. We had a car audition. I was like, I, we drove our car where you guys didn't let us in, which oh. was fine. And then so we, like the entitled brats that we were, drove up and down, revving our cars, <laughs> trying to disrupt shit. Blasting like Stevie B or Ghost Town DJs. Nice. So so what you were, what asked, were you driving at the time? I had a 92. <laughs> Honda Civic SI. Okay. Uh, hatchback? As a hatchback. Okay. And it was Estoril Blue off the BMW M3. Okay. Uh, it looked cooler than it actually ran. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, it's all right. That's what matters. I actually had a 90 Civic hatchback. Uh huh. A brown. Automatic. <laughs> well, well, Ooh, you lost autumn. me there. You lost me. Yes. Like, can you imagine how life could have changed if I was on that movie? I think like, we. Should. Like you wouldn't be interviewing. Yeah, there wouldn't be. There would have been. There would have been like a, seven kids. I'd live like. A, I'd live like in you'd Pomona. Be, you'd be. You would have. You would have. No, no, no disrespect. No, but you would have opened. There's a raceway there. Yes, well, yes. Oh, true, true, true. You would have opened like muffler slut. Oh yeah, muffler like, slut. Muffler, like, dude, yeah. that sounds so much worse like, than it. Muffler slut. Come through. Do you, have, slut. do you have uh do you have oil here? No, just muffler slot. <laughs> it's yeah. called muffler slot. It says slut. muffler yeah. slot. <laughs> yeah. Debut <laughs> was once a part of the debut. Feel free oh, to shit. <laughs> Sorry. Fish that out. Man. Oh, that's a great outtake. I, I have this question that I have written down, but I'll, I'm gonna ask you now. All right. Alvin Kailan. Yes. <laughs> if X Slut was a superhero, what would it look like? Or she, or he. It would or... definitely be a dude because men are more sluttier than women. <laughs> it's not bad to say. Right? Like now that we're in gender fluid what? society, you know. Uh, it would be a man though. Would, the okay. secret uh, is out. We're sluttier. He will look like Razor Ramon. <laughs> Razor Ramon. Well, he got the mullet. He got the mullet. Yeah, he'll, have, he'll look like Razor Ramon. It's, uh, he'll have a, he a got the Pinoy mullet stored in a. <laughs> egg medallion he wears around his neck. And uh, his superpowers would be, you know, making really great food t for people. Oh yeah, that's a great superpower. No, it's a terrible superpower. <laughs> okay. But you can poison people. In ah, true, behavior. true, See? true. Yeah. Let's just make an excellent movie. There you go. Hey, we can make it. Dude, See, he... you can be known for John Castro. I did the egg slip movie. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Is there room for an action comedy in our genre of Filipino, Filipino movies? 
all the Filipino movies that are out there. You know, there's I mean, so many. I know. I mean, like, so many to choose there's from. There's so many room. There's so much room for anything Filipino. Oh yeah. Exactly. I'm a, like you know me, man. I'm a big proponent for everything and all mm -hmm. things Filipino. Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to like yeah. the more we the more we come out in droves, the better. Yeah. The yeah, more support sure. we have, the bigger our our community supports us, the better. For sure. For sure. And yeah. so yeah, I mean, I, I fully support a crowdfunding oh, situation. You know, like yeah, we need yeah. to know our community. We need to bank on our community. Yeah. And we gotta see whether yeah. or not you know <clears throat> what we're doing is awesome or yeah. not. Yeah. A year ago, we all met or we all talked at. Next day better. Yeah, the real. Yeah, that's meets. where I met Chad and Chase from yeah. NASA. Right, uh, right, right. Charles Zalalia did something there too. Mm -hmm. We decided to make it a, a mission to bring yeah. Filipino food to the masses. For sure, and, for uh, sure. And I think we've succeeded. Yeah. Uh, Charles is top fifty best new restaurants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonathan Gold just got uh, NASA. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, gave him rave reviews. Yeah. Chef bad, Isa Fabro right and now. And Bad Saints got Bon Appetit, right? Yeah, yeah second bad best. Saints. Bon Appetit. Yeah. You know, yeah, um, yeah. Bad Saints, Washington, never been there, but I heard about <laughs> yeah, you guys. Yeah, we, we've, we've been really pushing it. We, we, yeah. We've done uh, a few things for Bon Appetit, Savour Magazine. Yeah. We're, nice, we're doing nice. a 5x5 five five Filipino dinner uh, in the mainstream for Bon Appetit Ooh, in September. Awesome. We're representing awesome. Filipino food at the Taste this year for LA Times. Oh, so, I mean, we want to be you know, the food that people are eating on TV. Yes. Instead yeah, of man. saying, let's do Chinese, they could go. Yeah, yeah with, with the chopsticks, like, Let's do Filipino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be really cool yeah. to see, like, you know, a, like someone eating a adobo bowl yeah. Yeah, while yeah. they're watching TV. Exactly. And then you're watching it, and you're like, oh my god, Ross. Yeah. From friends at the Friends reunion, yeah. is eating Filipino food. <laughs> you know? Like honey, shout out to friends. Honey, that's when you, you know we made it. <laughs> You're like, oh, honey, yeah. what do you, you feel like it. today? Yeah, I feel Filipino. Yeah, you know, I want or that. Like, I want that yeah. scene to happen. Or it's like when like the PA walks in, he's like, I got Filipino food. Yeah, yeah. Hey. and then Meryl Streep is like, I love Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's where we need to be. Yeah. And being able to take criticism is also yeah, yeah we should be able which to is push very hard for Filipinos. Oh my gosh, oh my god, I can't take it at all. <laughs> I, I, I love it. When people tell me like, "Yo, man, like your your kind of kind of just tastes like beans," and I'm like, "Yeah, because mm. that's what it is." <laughs> but but at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, understood yeah. that like yeah, maybe yeah. some Filipino dishes really do need the animal fat. Uh -huh. You know, I, I get yeah. that a lot, especially yeah, yeah. from my mom. She's like, "That's not." Okay. <laughs> Worst critic. You, you have to yeah. you have to make it sluttier. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my mom. It's so funny, man. She still doesn't say it by name. Like, <laughs> the egg shot. <laughs> egg shot. <laughs> I was like, no, mom, it's a place in New York. Big <laughs> <laughs> shot. Fun hey. Olympia. Yes, yes. Two. Fun this shit. Be proud to be Filipino. Holla at me. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, yo. Thank you.